Good morning, everybody. My name is Vicki and I am a travel agent here with Star Stuff Travel. I am coming to you live from Negril, Jamaica. I am actually at the Royalton Negril Resort. And <clears throat> I got here on Thursday last week and I leave tomorrow. But before I left, I just wanted to show everyone a little glimpse of the resort and tell you a little bit of how it was to get here. So I do live in the state of Florida and right now we are considered a high risk state. So before I came to Jamaica, I did need to get a COVID test to show my results. And Jamaica does require for anyone else a travel authorization form, which was very simple to get online. Um, the island of Jamaica right now has less than 800 cases. So they are doing a wonderful job of keeping everybody um, safe. Um, I actually have my mask right here hanging from my wrist. Um, but anyway, I just, like I said, wanted to tell you a little bit about um, getting here. So, like I said, I needed my test and my negative test. I also needed my travel authorization form. The flights were excellent. I did have a stopover from Tampa to Miami and then Miami to Montego Bay. The planes were very spaced out. Um, at one point we had someone sitting next to us. It was not a problem. I went right to the, the gate and I said, you know, can you move us? No problem. And it was wonderful. They made sure everything was spaced out. Um, when we got to Jamaica, they had us, um, you know, get off the plane and they took our temperature and they gave it to us on a piece of paper. And then we all lined up and we went through the, um, good morning, Stacy. Yes, yeah, not a bad view. I'm trying to show you the sea here before I walk around. Anyway, so when we got to the airport, <clears throat> they made us line up and we, after our temperature, and we went through a little health screening. Um, that's where we showed them our authorization form. They asked them some questions, you know, standard questions. Have we been around anybody? Are we feeling any symptoms? Things like that. Um, where are we staying? Very well organized. Uh, we watched them clean, you know, before and after everybody. Um, I am traveling with Anthony, my boyfriend, and even between us, they wiped everything down and we're traveling together. So I will say it was an amazing process they had in the airport. Um, and then after you get your okay, you go through customs and you are on your way. Um, we took a transfer here and it was shared. Everybody had their mask on in the transfer, including the driver, which was great. Um, and then when we got to the resort, same thing as well. Um, everybody is staying your six feet apart. They made us um, sanitize our hands as well as they sprayed down our luggage and sanitize that as well. Um, again, taking temperatures and very safe, I will say here. Um, they do ask if you would like to have, you know, when and how often you'd like your room cleaned um, to keep less people in your room. Um, normally when you stay at a resort and you have a butler, they come in and they, they walk around your room and they show you everything. This they did not. Again, they're trying to minimize people um, coming in and out of your room, which is great. Uh, the resort right now I'm staying at is the <clears throat> Royalton Negril. There actually are three resorts on property. You have the Royalton Negril, which is a family friendly resort. Uh, you have the hideaway at Royalton, which is adult only. And then really tiny at the end, you have Grand Lido, which is a um, private boutique uh, clothing optional resort. If you are staying at the hideaway, the adult only section, you are welcome to use the full property. And if you're at the Royalton, you stay at the Royalton. Um, but it's really great. Uh, both sides of the resort do have Diamond Club that come with some extra perks as far as like private check-in and check out there's a diamond club lounge that has um, snacks and hors d'oeuvres at the day you know the day and if you need any help with anything there are people there to help you as far as like making dinner reservations and things like that uh, they also have their own pools and beach area access so um, right now i am just standing in the front of the lobby um, with the caribbean sea right behind me but I'm just going to um, 
as I finish up this video, I'm just gonna walk around the resort a little bit and just show you what they have to offer. I'm not gonna do the hideaway side, I'm gonna do the uh, Royalton side so you can see the family pool and things like that. So let me just uh, flip you guys around a little bit. So this is, like I said, the, the lobby area and this is the main stage where they put on shows every single night. Um, if you follow my page, um, my personal page, you will see um, some of the shows. So right here is the beach area. Um, this happens to be my building right here. In fact, uh, that's my little swim up pool right over there. <laughs> so our room looks right out over the, to the water. It's pretty spectacular. Um, but like I said, every night they have shows on. Um, the entertainment team has been great here. Uh, during the day at the main pool, they do all sorts of games and activities to keep everybody busy. And they also run the games and you know shows and stuff at night. The other night we were um, singing karaoke. Um, no, well not me, I don't do that kind of stuff, but <laughs> can't speak for others in the group. Um, and then, um, they do tell you that you are uh, quarantined to your hotel, which is not necessarily a bad thing because with everything here on property, you don't really need to leave um, property right now. Um, we did take a private boat tour the other day. Um, so we stayed on the water um, and we went to Margaritaville, Seven Mile Beach, which is absolutely fabulous, and Rick's Cafe. And Rick's Cafe is <clears throat> famous for the cliff diving. So not only do the locals, but the guests get to do it as well. And that, I will say, I did jump. Um, only from eight feet, I'm chicken. Um, but it was pretty cool to see the locals jump and the backflips and climbing up the rocks. So it's pretty awesome there. You can eat and drink. They have a pool there, cabanas. So great place to check out. So this is the actual main pool area. Um, so they do have a section here for the kids. Um, not a lot of kids at the resort right now, but they do have this area for them. And then this is the main pool. So this is kind of where we've been spending all of our time, um, only because they have the music going and they do have the entertainment staff here all day. And not to mention my favorite part, right back over there is the jerk hut. It's open every day for lunch and they make fabulous, fabulous jerk chicken and pork and sausage. Um, so that runs all day. And then they also have a food truck right here. So it's perfect when the kids are hungry, they can come right over, get a hot dog, some mac and cheese, whatever they want. And you could get your jerk chicken or swim up at the bar. But um, this is one of the largest, or if not the largest property in the grill. I walked it the other day to do a video from one end to the other, and it was little under a mile so but my screen went dark because I'm in the Sun and it's super hot so I just wanted to show you a little bit of each area so that is all Royalton property over there <clears throat> and all the way down over there is the Diamond Club Beach access of Royalton and just show you a little bit. This is my building on the guys are still seeing this. Oh, there we go. And that's where you can do your water sports. But, so just wanted to show you a little bit about my trip to Jamaica and tell you all that's going on and the protocols and things like that. Um, everything is changing, changes day by day all over the world. Um, different announcements, different requirements, different protocols. Um, and even as a travel agent for my own trip, I saw it. So please, you know, make sure to ask your agent um, or actually book with an agent because that's our jobs to help you um, navigate through all these crazy times and tell you what you need, where you can and can't go and things like that. Um, it's our job and we love it and we're here to help you. So if you have any questions, just leave a message here and I will be checking them throughout the day. 
um, or feel free to you know send us a private message and I can answer it that way. Other than that, um, happy Monday, uh, live from Jamaica, and stay safe, everybody.